we started uh, just about 20 years ago with this holiday open house. And a lot of the, you know, it's such a beautiful home and there, nothing looks prettier than an old antique home decorated up at the holidays. So, so the, all the ladies that belong to the organization said, well, we've all got a Christmas tree somewhere we can come up. So we started putting Christmas trees in every room of the house, decorating them with different themes. And then we open the house up, the, always the week before Thanksgiving, we try to kick off the holiday season early. And, and so it'll be decorated, not just with trees, but with trimmings all around. And, and it's just beautiful. And we open it up uh, always the week before Thanksgiving. So the 19th of Friday will be open from five till nine. And then on Saturday and Sunday, the 20th and 21st, will be open from 12 till five. We don't charge. And we've, we've done this with every one of our events that we have here. We found that if you have something good to show people and you want to share it with them, they usually are more than generous to leave. You know, we always have a jar standing out for donations and we've never not gotten a real good response from the public. So we, ne we never charge and we always serve, you know, Christmas cookies and coffee and punch and things like that. And we get some of the same people back year after year, and yet we always get new people. So it's, it's just a fun thing for us to do. We enjoy showing off what we've done, I guess. We take a little pride in what we've done. And yet we want to just have other people be aware that there is a place where the history of the state line area is preserved. It's, it's pretty much a restored home, but we, yet, we let people walk through the house. It's not a roped off museum where you only can look over there in the corner. So people love to walk through the house. The company that ran that for many years was called Consumers Company. And we have their old Fairbank scale that was just donated, which was a, a Beloit product, which make a double thing. And it was used in, in the South Lake gravel pit for over 70 years. So, so that is a new item that we have in here. We've got an, uh, an old Bessley grinder that was just donated. And the Bessley Company was uh, formed in Chicago, but it grew in, and thrived in the city of South Beloit. So, and they made grinding wheels, and so we've got an old Bestley grinder that's been donated. And last year, we got an original Warner trailer. Now, A.P. Warner was the person that people identify with the electric brake company, but he originally invented the speedometer. He invented the pull trailer, which people don't understand that, that they thought that just happened, but no, that was invented right here in, in Beloit, Wisconsin. And so we have the original Warner trailer that was located and donated. It was built in 1916 right here in South Lloyd, Illinois. So these are some items that we've just added in the last year. So it's those kind of things that make it so much fun to be a part of because you never know next who's going to show up with something that is a part of our history. It's a real interesting place, and we've never had anybody say anything other than that, and, and, and we love it. Of course, we, we're a part of it, but, but I think anybody that comes here will really enjoy what they see.